Now, for a long time now, we've been thinking that if the microfence system continued to expand and prosper, that we might find different ways to use the micrometer lead screw capability that we have in both our circle jig and edge guide in other ways. Now, one recurring thought we had was to use it for controlling the depth of cut in a plunge mechanism. Conversations with our customers, both at shows and on the phone, seem to encourage that concept. So now after about a year and a half of research and development and testing, here's what we've come up with. We call it the portable three-axis mill. It's a plunge base that accepts various laminate trimmer motors aimed at a light to medium duty task range of work. Now we saw 30 or 40 plunge routers out there with a two to three horsepower range, which are formidable and certainly useful, but weighing in at anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds. There was almost nothing in a smaller, easier to manage size. Our base weighs in at just under four pounds without a motor and rough steps with a motor and even with our edge guide attached. So it's substantial, but very comfortable and manageable to use. I know in our shop, when things get fussy, it's usually the result of a client that wants a little higher level of joinery, or maybe some unique hardware, or some unusual decorative milling done in his project. Most of these tasks are handled easily with the power that's available in trimmer motors. We're also seeing more power coming in smaller housings, like this Bosch PR20, that's rated at a full horsepower and with variable speed from roughly 15 to 30,000 RPM. It's one of five or six different motors that can be fitted into our base. Now they include the Porta Cable 310, the older Bosch 1608, DeWalt 670, Makita 3707, and some Rotozip models. The 310 and the PR20 drop directly in, while the others require adapter rings that we also offer. In either case, the motors are secured in place with brass tip set screws. Now, the base also accommodates some high speed rotary tools like the Dremel models 395 and 400, and even the Proxon. These require an adapter cup that drops the motors a little lower so that their shorter tooling can reach the work surface. The portable three axis mill provides the most precise control over depth of cut that I've ever seen. But there's some other features that we wanted to include that we'd like to show you as well. Here's the same micrometer that we feature in our edge guide and circle jig being used to measure and fine tune the depth of cut. It adjusts the position of the calibrated stop rod, which then contacts the turret posts to set cut limits. The calibration is in thousands, so there isn't any measuring requirement you can't achieve including expansion, contraction, and glue clearances. Now the motor carriage slides on stainless steel posts that we hard chrome plate. And we've used bronze bushings to ride on them for a silky smooth action with just enough resistance from the springs. And the plunge lock is in the right handle. Our turret provides three stop positions on ball and spring indents. There are one eighth inch stepped increments within a tolerance of just about one thousandth for mortising or hardware installations or anything else you might want to do. The micrometer and stop rod provide greater or lesser adjustments. The clear acrylic base is bored to fit standard sized one and three eighths template guide bushings for template and pattern work. It's also pre-drilled to accept some of our other accessories. Each of our plunge bases comes with a pair of auto centering bearings for mortising operations that are centered on your material. A pair of precision machine shoulder bolts and Delrin sleeve bearings are included. When they're installed, you can simply turn the router on the workpiece. When both bearings are in contact with the sides of your material, the bit will be automatically centered. The holes that are pre-drilled in our base for these bearings provide a throat for materials up to about four and a quarter inches in width. The plunge base comes with both upper and lower dust hoods, so whether you're working on the surface of your material or off the edge, you have the ability to use a shop vac or central dust collection. There's also a hose adapter for either one and a quarter or one and a half inch hoses. Here's the tool kit that comes with every one of our bases. This single ball tip driver fits virtually every installation or locking screw on the entire unit. Finally, and maybe the most popular of all the features we build into our base 
are the goosenecked LED light sources. These little gems provide an amazingly bright light that washes the work area so clearly that pencil or scribe lines can be easily seen, which is a welcome asset for older eyes like mine. The batteries provide about 50 hours of use per load, and there are four positions milled into the base where the lights can be mounted, top, bottom, front, and back, and they're held in place with nylon tip set screws to resist vibration. The flexible necks let you focus the light wherever you want. Many of our customers are adding additional lights for shadow-free lighting. The new plunge base is fully compatible with all other Microfence products and in fact becomes an integral part of the system's capabilities when it's used with the edge guide. When they're used together, you've got machine tool measurement in both the vertical and the horizontal. The circle jig, especially when making multiple passes at increasing depths. Our ellipse jigs. The base simply mounts on the universal router plate. Also with the extruded clamp or straight edge interfaces like the True Grip and Festo guides. Lastly, the center barn levelers kit can be used with the base. That's our attachment for smaller circles than the regular circle jig can make. The portable mill is compatible with every component of the microfence system. We know you'll enjoy using this plunge base and it'll add a lot of enjoyment to any of your routing experiences. In the development of it, we nicknamed it the portable three-axis mill. It's because the edge guide would give us the x-axis and the micrometer in the base itself would give us the z-axis. And of course, y would equal u. You'll be in control. <music>